welcome back to the channel. So if you tuned in last week, you saw that I took my, uh, my quick release steering hub adapter and I screwed it up. I broke a tap off. I broke a M2.3 by 045 uh, tap, little teeny guy, like that, which was the wrong size. And I snapped it off in the uh, hub adapter. I was able to get the tap out, but I chewed up the adapter pretty good doing it. Um, but I have a plan to fix this, to salvage this part, and I don't think anybody will ever be able to tell when it's all said and done. So thanks for coming back to the channel. Let me show you guys what to do if you break a tap off in a hunk of aluminum and you've got too much time and energy into the part to throw it away. All right, so here's the carnage. As you can see, I was in the process of machining these uh, small holes on the outside of the pattern. Uh, they're very small. They're 2.5 millimeter. Um, and I snapped the tap off. And I was able to get the tap out. Uh, Martin Slow Shop and Custom actually gave me the idea to attack the tap with a center punch. And I did just that. I basically came in at uh, an angle from all four sides and I just beat it up. The little chunks would snap off. I'd pick them out with a pick. And I believe that I got all of the tap out. We'll find out when we start to drill this hole. But, you know, going from M2.5 to that mess, um, I've chewed the hole up way too much to get any sort of grab with a 2.5 millimeter bolt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with a uh, drill and I'm going to drill this out to quarter 20. I'm going to use an aluminum bolt. aluminum countersunk bolt to fill the hole and then I'm going to grind the head off with an end mill set it in there with uh, red Loctite let it sit overnight the reason I know this is going to work is because I've already done one of the holes over here um, you can see just a very slight silhouette of the bolt that I used to patch this hole um, I did this one first because it was uh, not quite as bad and I'm not working up against a shoulder so on this hole, it's going to be a little bit trickier. So what I did is I took that same aluminum bolt that I used on the first hole and I turned the head down to a smaller diameter. So if you screw up an aluminum part beyond repair, I mean, that's too big even to get a helicoil in it, that crater. This is the only way. You could also uh, just press in a, a smooth round slug of aluminum. But I figured since I'm going to be tapping it, I wanted to have some threads, um, red Loctite. It'll never come out. It'll never work its way out. This is a completely non-critical part, but I feel like you could probably use it even in a critical application. But let me show you the process. All right, so perhaps it was foresight, perhaps it was just dumb luck, but I had uh, previously used a quarter inch end mill to kind of try to flatten the top of the tap in the hole, and it left a nice witness mark all the way around the hole um, in question. And what I'm gonna be able to do now is I'm gonna be able to use that witness mark to basically line up my cut right over the center of the hole. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, it just has to be close, really. Um, because the quarter inch bolt that I'm gonna use to, to go in with to make my plug is much larger than the M2.5 millimeter, <clears throat> but we should try to be as close as possible. So anyway, before I go in with the, uh, the drill, I'm actually gonna go in with a 3 uh, two flute end mill, which hopefully will be a little uh, more forgiving if there is still a little teeny bit of tap left down in that hole. Looks like there might still be a little bit of tap down in that hole. All right, so after several iterations between the uh, 3 16 end mill and taking the part out of the vise, taking it back over to the bench, trying to beat out that tap with the punch, so I was able to take a cobalt bit, uh, sharpen it in my sharpener, got it really sharp, and uh, kind of pecked away just gradually at the rest of it. 
Sorry for not recording all that. It was a bit infuriating. Um, it's definitely been a battle. <laughs> I haven't fought with anything this hard in quite a while. So anyway, now that I'm there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the quill with a feeler gauge to check my, uh, my surface. And right there, so I'm gonna zero out my quill. Um, it's an 8 thousandths feeler gauge, so I'm gonna add 8 thousandths more because the depth is somewhat critical. And I'm gonna zero out my quill again. The column's already locked. Give a little uh, squirt of WD-40 for Danner's Garage. <laughs> and uh, we're trying to hit 700,000 steps. size for a quarter 20 tap all right so with our hole drilled to depth um to 1364 which is the proper size for 75 percent threads at a quarter 20 um we can start our tap well, i don't have a fancy spring-loaded tap follower i just use my uh my jacobs truck i just kind of keep a little bit of tension on it make sure you break your chip Now this hole got a little bit oblong with the uh, iterations of going in with the punch um, because I had to go at it from an angle and it got pretty deep. Um, should back off and break our chip. So if this was the final size, I might be a little teeny bit concerned but it's not, this is just gonna be a plug and it's gonna get held in with a uh, red Loctite. Right. I think we're nearing the bottom of our hole. We wanna go easy. In fact, we're, we're deep enough now that we can get rid of our follower. I'm gonna go easy so that we don't <laughs> wind up back in the same place where we were before. Although it's a lot harder to break a quarter 20 tap than it is to break a, a two and a half by 0.45. And I'm feeling pretty good about that. For those of you that might not know the difference between a starting tap and a bottoming tap, there you go. Bottoming tap just allows you to get those last couple of threads down at the bottom of the hole. It's got a more blunt tip. The starting tap has a taper, which uh, aids in starting your threads in a straight manner. So that's the difference. You gotta be very careful when you start your bottoming tap to make sure you don't cross thread it because it is a tap, it's very sharp and it will uh, quite easily cut new threads in aluminum. So get it started once we're uh, on our way. Drop down our chuck jaws to center in the tap wrench. Another shot of the sauce. And I'll just kind of keep the quill aiming downward. You're not actually cutting yet. Uh, but now we're starting to. And don't get overzealous because the bottoming tap is only going to make a couple of threads. And I think we're already right there at the end. And again, you got to go very easy. To not break your tap off in your finished part. All right, so the uh, the smallest chamfer bit I have is a three-quarter inch diameter. And because I'm working up against the shoulder, I don't have room to plunge the three-quarter inch chamfer bit down to chamfer my hole to five-sixteenths. A chamfer bit's 90 degrees. A uh, chamfer-headed bolt angle is 82 degrees. 
a drill bit angle is 118 degrees and a center drill angle is 60 degrees. 60 is closer to 82 than 118 is. So I'm gonna chamfer this hole with a center drill. Uh, it's not ideal, but I just want um, a surface to grab the top of that bolt. And again, it's gonna be Loctited in place. So. All right, so there we have our finished hole with a 60 degree chamfer. Um, now is the time that we wanna test fit our plug. So we'll thread that down by hand. Try to do it so that you can see. Looking pretty good. Very good in fact, give it a little, uh, little snug. So I think that'll work. The hole's nice and clean. Use some, uh, just some brake parts cleaner from your local auto parts store. And now we're gonna use a little bit of red thread locker. I like to drip a couple of drops down in the bottom of the hole. And then, I always use way too much of this stuff. I don't care if it squishes out all over the place. Um, I'd rather know that I have plenty and have to do some cleanup than not having enough. So I'll just go ahead and thread this guy in. And snug her down. We do have just a little bit squishing out. That's perfect. And I like to get fastener good and tight come in mop up the excess loctite and we're gonna let that set up for 24 hours and then come back and uh, address the slug that's sticking out all right, so here we are 24 hours later, the Loctite is cured. Um, rather than put the hub in my mill, what I decided to do, put it in the lathe and then put an end mill in because I can set my hand wheel to zero where the shoulder is. Well, I guess I'm just a little teeny touch past zero, but that's okay. Um, and then I can work in five thou at a time It'll be an interrupted cut, but it should be very accurate. And then, you know, feed in and then move my cross slide in towards the center of the hub until that bolt head is gone. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Check our progress. Getting pretty close.
close. No offense to you guys, but I'm gonna set the camera down and uh, do the finishing passes without the camera in my way because at this point I've got a lot of time into this part and I don't wanna screw it up. So stay tuned. All right. So there is the finished product. And when you're right on top of it, you can see the plug. Anyway, I think that's a pretty good method for um, fixing messed up threads in 6061 T6. <laughs> Give me a second, we'll put the wheel together. All right. Wheel on hub. And then horn ring on hub. Horn button, ring, and hub on car. I still have to figure out something um, to do behind the quick release. Uh, get rid of the horn guts. But there you have it. All right, guys. Thanks for checking back in this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that it was uh, thought-provoking. Maybe a light bulb went off. Uh, some part that you have sitting there in the discard bin because you weren't sure how to fix it. Or maybe it's just the most elementary thing you've ever seen and you wonder, why the hell did I just waste 18 minutes of my life watching this? Regardless, I appreciate you coming by the channel. Um, and I hope that you hit that like button if you like what you saw in today's video. Hit the dislike button if you didn't. Comment, let me know what you think. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and please hit the notification bell because I guess that helps out too. I appreciate you guys coming back each and every week and I will keep coming back each and every week making videos for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Microphone, 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 microphone. <laughs>